Hey, this is Chad with Good Creative Tutorial, and today I just wanted to go over one of the reasons you would use a radial blur in Photoshop as opposed to a motion blur or even a Gaussian blur. Usually when I've done simulated depth of field or uh, different effects like that, we use the generic Gaussian blur, uh, which doesn't really have a direction. Uh, but, but sometimes you might want to use a radial blur uh, in a specific context, and here's one of those. So go ahead and open up the support file if you want to follow along. I have the link in the description because it's a Creative Commons file. Just have to give uh, attribution. So just download that. Open up in Photoshop. And if you see here, uh, the original um, doesn't really have the dark edge, which I'll just add a slight vignette. But then on top of that, to really, even though the whole photo is just slightly out of focus, um, I think we can make it have a more artistic look to it by having a radial blur that zooms in and it really focuses, brings the focus of the photo uh, onto the center right here, the, the couple. So uh, there's another context you'd use is maybe in uh, sports and different action shots. Uh, you could do that as well. So you'd have the original, there's no blur, and just adding a directional blur with a slight mask. Add a little bit of personality and style to it. If you download that one or uh, whichever one you want to use, first step you want to do is do Control J or Command J on the Mac. That just duplicates that layer. But, so we got two layers that are exactly the same. So with this top layer, go ahead and go to Filter, Lens Correction, click Custom, and we're going to bring that vignette over to the left. It'll darken the edges. I'm going to bring that all the way over to the left. And then the midpoint right below it, I'll bring that down, or actually about to about plus 25 or so. And click OK. So you see the before and then after so far. We'll just kind of darken the edges a little bit. Press Control J again. Make sure you have that top layer selected when you do that. And so we duplicate that layer again. Now we'll want to go to Filter, Blur, and then Radial Blur. And for this you could do a spin, let's say you had at the wedding reception and people dancing and you wanted to kind of simulate motion a little bit, do the kind of the spin, it would just have a different effect. Uh, for this example, though, I'm going to do a zoom. All right. And for the amount, I'm just going to keep putting it at about 20 per, or 20 up there. All right. So go ahead and hit OK. And that does just a slight blur that has a direction, just a zoom. The whole thing is blurry though, we don't want that. So we need to add a layer mask. So add a layer mask on that top layer. Choose a nice soft edge brush, the brush tool. Uh, make sure hardness set to 0%. And you can press left and right bracket to resize on the go, but I'm just gonna click and drag around this middle area here. And you can see the mask over here. And that way it just adds a little bit of focus on the center of this photo. And I think it turns out to be a slightly better photo. If you want to do that on an action photo or sports photo, same thing, but you might want to exaggerate the effect a little bit. So open up some kind of sports photo, press Control or Command J. Then same step when you go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. And for this one, I'm going to bump it up to about 35 or so. Make sure it's on Zoom. Click OK. And then again, add a layer mask, and then choose a nice soft, soft edge brush. This one you can make a large brush and just and uh, just press or click once. And we're leaving uh, some of the edges, like her feet, a little bit blurred, and it adds to that effect. All right. So that's one context you might want to check out uh, with the radial blur can do for your photos, just adding a little bit of style and interest. All right, thanks everyone. Uh, be sure to subscribe uh, for more regularly updated Photoshop tutorials as well as occasionally Illustrator, InDesign, other uh, graphic design advice. Thanks.